welcome back to another video guys so today we're just gonna be doing a quick update as to what is the progress to the rebuild of judas's motor so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, and we have a pile of goodies right here. So first things first, when I have the motor over here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I began disassembling that motor and when I was about to reuse the crank and main bearings, I found out that the bearings are a bit of way to them. So I went ahead and I bought some bearings locally from the Nissan dealership. So we have some genuine connecting rod and rod and main bearings since the connecting rod bearings are pretty cheap so i just went ahead and i got a set and we got some fresh washers got myself some new rings so the entire bottom end is going to be fresh so absolutely no reason i also picked up uh, absolutely no reason to be worried about it i think i also picked up some plastic gauge so we'll be specking everything out and hopefully we don't run into any issues next up i got myself a replacement head gasket so i was caught between the chromatic and uh, the tome and the chromatic for the most part seems to be hit or miss so i just went ahead spent a little bit extra and i got a tome head gasket and i can see that i'm truly impressed with the packaging so you can see where the extra dollars goes into <laughs> presentation goes a long way all right so this one has really good reviews based on what i've seen online so it's a sr20 it's a 87 millimeter bore um gasket 1.2 millimeter thickness all right so hopefully this one this was the second most gasket second most expensive gasket as far as i've seen in comparison to i think the most expensive one is the apexi gasket uh, so this one should do just fine so we have everything there to put the bottom end together i will hope to do that the, this evening or tomorrow so that may be featured in another video but the big news is that i also picked up uh, another turbo so this one is a gt 3076 turbo from max speeding rods so i will be working with max speeding rods um in testing out this turbo um i got this turbo for a friend and a customer he started off as a customer now he's a friend roger Roger over in New York is a dealer for Max Speeding Rods and it's pretty much through, through him Max Speeding Rods sent me this turbo to test out so I do have a GT2871 but that recently well upon disassembly of the motor I saw that was uh, some oil in issue which I'm not 100% sure what's going to what was the cause of that if it's I guess blown seals or whatever be the case but this one is going to be I'm going to be going to make it a bit easier for me to achieve my goal. So my goal is mid mid to high 300 wheel 300 wheel off. Blah. My goal is free mid to free mid to high um 300s with the SR20 and I will try to do that with the stock cams but I do have a set of GSC stage one cams springs retainers and everything to go along with that so the plan is to put this one on um, from what i've seen these turbos make pretty good power with a very healthy power band on the sr20s so i will be putting that to the test on the dyno i will be working with with roger and max speeding rods by extension to give them feedback as to how how it does i mean lag and whatnot um so this is pretty exciting guys so Look up for, I guess, a, a full review of the Max Speeding Rods Turbo in the near future. All right. So again, thank you, Max Speeding Rods, for um, allowing me to test this out for you guys. Um, it's truly humbling that companies see that companies um, trust me to, I guess, do a review or whatever testing that I need to do on their product and give them an honest review. I think that is truly humbling. I never thought I'd be in a position to be doing that now. So I mean, I'm super thankful. All right, so next up, we have the bottom end, which I am putting together now, again, in my dirt, <laughs> my dirt garage. So it's truly gonna be a, a 
a backyard or an underhouse build. So again, I need to clean up everything here. I see it again a lot, right? So I need to clean up everything you see here. Some degrees. I may throw some paint on the block, remove the bearings, and I'm gonna start assembly on that. So hopefully later this evening or tomorrow. So that may make it into a, another video. This is the build motor. I pretty much took everything I needed from that motor. So it's just a bare block at this point. So this hopefully will be featured in another video. But this is the exciting news. Judas is still here, dusty. I made a list of all of the stuff I need to do. Okay, so there's the list. I'll go through it with you guys. So number one on the list, we need to finish rebuilding the engine. I need to remove that fuel tank. Uh, since I already have the five gallon fuel cell in the back and the Bosch 044 pump, we're gonna fire the, up the car with the existing harness just to check fuel pressure and whatnot. Then we're going to redo the harness and number four i need to get another fuel pump from max speeding rods i'm going to get one of their 255 inline pumps and then i'm going to add the surge tank i think i have a might be one or two liter surge tank inside need to fix that clutch line it was spongy from the last time around so i need to change that um we need to investigate the garrett turbo i may just send that out to get fixed somewhere and keep that as a spare um I found out the drive shaft center bearing is smashed. This is completely gone. I need to change that up. I got that. Well, have this already. Just need to install all that. And lastly, on the list, we need to fix this rust spot, which is on Judas's roof. So, go remove the sunroof, fix this rust spot, and probably just spray the top back. I'm considering respraying the car. I have a couple colors in mind, but um, we'll. We'll, we'll talk about that in a later video. And the last thing on the list, which is the most important one, we're gonna take over the world. Yep. Alrighty, so <laughs> this is pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. Super excited, super excited to get working and get testing on the new parts that I have. So stay tuned for future videos for updates and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe.